were born before the wind Also younger than the sun Yeah, the Bonnie boat was one As we sail into the mystic Welcome to Three, the most innovative metaphysical program ever created. Join Chris, Rainey, and Mona as these amazing intuitives provide you with a three-dimensional divination into your most important questions. Now, from Las Vegas, the entertainment capital of the world, enjoy Three with our hostess, Mona Van Joseph. Welcome to another episode of Three. I'm here with Chris and Rainey, and of course me, for a collaborative journey with you and your question. So, so we are on a roll right now, and this has been an absolutely remarkable experience for us. I cannot believe the amount of people that are coming to the website. They want answers. They, they want to connect with us. And I have to tell you, um, we're taking them first come, first serve. So the, so the fact that we have many, many emails to go through right now because you guys have reached out to us means that I think we're on to something, girls. I really do. Well, I'm feeling that we are not only providing our insight, but we're giving them opportunities, possibilities, um, and healing. Yes. I feel a lot of healing happening and direction and guidance. Well, I don't know about you, but um, I would imagine that all of you are being reached. Both of you are being reached by people going, I want my astrology chart. I want I want to talk to, to Rainy. You know, I my, my my favorite aunt in the whole world has passed. I, I really want to get a message from her. And and with me, it's like, you know, my the way I do it is I look at what's going on with you and what's likely to happen moving forward. But like the three of us, we've talked about it. You create your own destiny. You are the captain of your ship. Free will. And so, free will, right? I mean, there's a reason that you chose to be in this lifetime right now. Just like the three of us are meant to be here right now for you. So we have a caller calling here in just a second. And the way it works is you call in and we already know your birth time, your birthplace, and your your birth um, birth time, birthplace. Your birthday. Birthday. Your location. Your birthday. Birthday. <laughs> birthday. Location. I, I got stuck there for a second. <laughs> so we know where you're born, we know what day you were born, and we know what time you're born. And and we're really, really sticklers on that now. That when you when you call in or when you text us in and go to go through our website. We need those three things so that Chris can be as accurate as possible with you. And then your reading becomes very layered. So um, so we're going to talk to John, who is with WWDBTV, and we are here by the grace of his fabulous oh, expertise. Much love to Blessings you. Blessings to you. Much love and, to um, you. And we're waiting for our caller. So who's our caller today? I am. Oh, wonderful. John. <laughs> John. Dun, dun, dun. Well, dun, dun, dun. I snuck in on you. How's well, that? Well, that's okay. I, okay. I, I think I think you having a little insight from our trio is actually a good thing. Yes. So so what's your question today? Okay. For about the last four, five, six, seven, ten years, <laughs> I have been working on a project in my head. Yes. Something that I have really been passionate about that I want to put together. And I think I'm on the cusp of doing that. The people and the tools that I need are coming to me yes and they're showing themselves and I really am committed to doing this and I want to know what are my chances and if I should be doing it so so your question is specifically about a project that's endearing to you yes and you want to see if it's got the potential to move forward in the way you want it to yes okay got it and if and there's more <laughs> okay no and and if that is in fact what i should be doing got it in other okay. words am i wasting my time or is this going to work well, chris is going to take it from here all right john so i have your natal chart here <clears throat> all right so what we are going to do is we are going to look at where um the transits are and going through your basically we're, we are going to look at your horoscope i'm going to cast your horoscope for this so all right so so i have to say john put on your seatbelt and your crash helmet it might be a little bumpy ride baby <laughs> okay so okay betty <laughs> um 
what I want to touch on are some major transits that are going on um, specifically for you. Since we have your birth time, we know exactly what area of your life they're happening in. And so um, right now we have North Node transiting your um, seventh house of partnerships. So this could be romantic. This can be business partnerships. And what this is, is it's bringing important contacts into your life. Okay. And this just started a about a year ago and we have another year uh, of this transit and so as it progresses through your chart um, you're going to going to be meeting very important people um, that are going to be key in helping you fulfill your destiny so um, the north node is the um, it's it's the placement that uh, talks about your potential in this life like what you're supposed to fulfill your destiny in this life and so it's very very strong um, in your partnerships right now um, the south node is actually the other end of that and that is transiting your first house of self so uh, right now um, this says to you're going through this phase where you're um, uh, you're really working on your who you are like what's unique about you like what you have to offer and this plays into uh, balancing out your relationships and so when these important people uh, come into your life and you start making these connections um, it will be a very balanced type of of symbiotical is that the word symbiotic <laughs> symbiotic, symbiotic yeah. like relationship and it's very balanced and um because you're ruled by venus you're ruled by libra and so balance relationships are very important to Isn't you Isn't libra the ultimate politician yes <laughs> um so um libra libra so you're a libra rising so oh, oh, uh libras okay. are ruled That's by planet the, venus the crash helmet yeah um, <laughs> and so one thing about um uh, Libra risings are they you know relationships are very important to them so this transit that started about a year ago and continues to you know move forward for the next year is really going to transform your relationships how you view relationships how the the give and take and making sure that they're beneficial for you uh, with that too you might even maybe sever some relationships that no longer serve you. That's so funny because that's the vibe I got mm -hmm. is that is that you're you're letting go of what's not working for you and who's not working for you. Um, I, I got that really strong. It's the vision I got, but I'll wait. Okay. <laughs> um, so a couple other things I want to touch on for you. Um, you have uh, you have this um, placement um, and it talks about being able to shine the light on the unknown. <laughs> it is a gift. Like there's things that you can see and you're like, y'all don't see this. <laughs> it's so obvious. And so it, it is a gift. Um, sometimes um, when uh, in work relationships or it, sometimes it can be a double edged sword. <laughs> but um, it is a gift. It is a true blessing. And I want to point that out because that is going to help you not only um, in your relationship, your business relationships, but also navigating you. Is this the right, you know, path to take? Because you're able to see that clarity where things are not really, um, you know, they're hidden for whatever reason. Um, and then you also have um, uh, Neptune in your first house of self. And what this tells me is that you're also very intuitive. So um, follow your intuition. Wow, that was fabulous. Rainy. I'm like, Spirit, you gave me so much information. Can we just give the cliff notes? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to get the first vision I got and then the second one. But I want to tell you, as we were doing earlier our photographs, and I kept seeing Daniel, kept hearing the song, Daniel, my brother. I'm sorry if I hurt somebody's ears, but <laughs> um, you have an angel. Oh. And it's Daniel. Oh, I and just got goosebumps. And I have... My, my butterflies are going to fly off my arm. May is the month of movement, with, which is Archangel, Angel Daniel. That's who's been hanging around. And they showed me the cross. And you know how you see with the cross, the praying hands? They're saying, come to Jesus. It is time to come to Jesus and have that heart-to-heart -heart talk with yourself. And then they showed me. So 
I was a single mom for a while, and they showed me, I used to make a lot of crock pots because I worked all day and it's easy. Oh, yeah. So let's make a stew. And I start putting in all the wonderful ingredients, and I put the lid on, and I put it on low because I don't want it to overcook. Then by the time I get home, I'm too tired to deal with the stew. So I take the kids out, and we go eat, and then we come back, and I'm like, I'm just going to turn it off, put it in the fridge. I'll reheat it tomorrow, and I take it out, and I put it back, and I put it on low, and I go to work. <laughs> I come back, and I dish out this wonderful stew, and the meat is so overdone, nobody can eat it. It is time to get off the pot and make it happen. Come to Jesus meeting with yourself. Ask Daniel for help and guidance. Daniel's all about movement, and the more that you create that momentum, it's energy. And I want, I love that you said you are very gifted. You see things that people don't. So if they don't see them, Ariana Grande, thank you next. The collaboration, you may have to lose a few people. Mm. But in order for this vision and this dream to really come to fruition and be the stew that you can eat, come to Jesus, baby, it's time. Take off the crash helmet, take off the seatbelt. No more in the 10 and 2 mode. It's time to take that leap of faith. And what I would love for you to do, and I know this is different, but Spirit always shows me, my name is Rainy Day, I'm different. Cocktails, welcome to my world. Yeah, it takes one to know one. Yeah, I want you to go out to the Grand Canyon. You know where you walk, that clear walkway? Oh, hell no. See how scary it can <laughs> oh, be? Oh, hell no. Not doing it. But, but that's, mm -mm. face that fear, because that fear is really imagined. It's not real. Okay, so I, I have a question. See, that's not scary for me. Okay, hold on. It's totally scary for me. Um, do you think Daniel has been sent to John right now to guide him? Well, angels come and go in our life. Spirit guides come and go in our right, life. We right. have spirit guides that are always with us, but yes. then we have ones that come in at specific for divine a, timing. Right, right. But for a specific divine purpose. timing will get overcooked, and he is here specifically to help you in that movement. And it's wonderful that you asked that question in May because, again, May is the energy of movement this year. Mm -hmm. And we're in the eight year, the yes. infinite. Yes. There are so many possibilities. Uh, the economy is really bad, but the, but the NASDAQ and all of those people, it's still shining and shining. You don't, I don't, Spirit doesn't want you to look at that. They want you to go with that idea, that, that, that creative spark that's in you. It's time to light that fire. Mm. It's I been had, smoldering way too long. <laughs> we're like, we're like, oh, oh my God. Okay, I, I, go, I, go. Well, go, girl. You go. I want to bring up a couple other things because you mentioned do. eight. And so you actually have a very, very lucky transit and going in through your eighth house. And when I look at this, um, it's telling me that, um, What's the eighth I, house again? It's um, your ancestors. Got it. Okay. Your, Thank it, you. it rules like other resources, um, life, death, birth, sex. Um, sex. It does, actually. Um, Rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, anyways, uh, Daniel, um, I definitely see where that is a maybe a past loved one or ancestor. Could it, be an ancestor. Mm -hmm. um, it may be well one that be. you've known or maybe Somebody not even known. Somebody needs to look at but their family tree. Yeah, it's not ancestry, even... Ancestry, watch out, baby, because be careful what you ask for. <laughs> it's strongly connected to your eighth house, so... And, and here, I'm going to be real quick. I know we're running a little Oh, long, no, no. We but I have to tell you my want. angel story. Show. <laughs> it, angels are free will. He'll keep hanging around. I've seen three angels in my life, physically seen three angels in my life, and I'm going to teach you how to see Daniel. I was at New Orleans with a few girlfriends, and I was sitting at that beautiful cathedral down by the water. Mm. And they're all flitting around lighting candles and buying rosaries, and I'm just sitting in the pew looking at the beautiful statuary, soaking in the energy. And this is what I want you to do. And out of the, my peripheral, I want you to start expanding your peripheral. Mm. How you do that is you look ahead and you pull your fingers in until you see them. They are out here. They're not right here. So I'm sitting there, and I open my eyes, and I see this real person standing up in praise. There's music. And right behind him was this color angel, I swear to you, on Golden everything angel. I know. Very translucent, felt masculine. And the man standing up like this, and behind him, and it was a seraphim angel because he had six wings. He was holding, supporting the man's arms. I'm getting chills. 
And in my mind's eye, telepathically, I said, and I'm holding the energy. Now, we as humans, we have that knee-jerk reaction to look. You have to hold the energy. So I didn't move. I just absorbed the energy and just was in the moment. I didn't go like this because you'll lose him. So the music stopped. The man sat down. And the angel just stood there with his hands down by his sides. And I just thanked the angel. Thank you for allowing me to see this beautiful mm. free will. The music started, the man stood back up, and the angel just stood there, still holding the energy, and I can see him out of my peripheral. I said, dear beautiful angel of God, angel of light, why are you not supporting his arms? This was one of the most profound lessons that still I want to cry, and I get, oh. You know how when pigeons take off? That's what it sounded like, and every hair on this side of my body was just electric, and I could hear beautiful rainy it's because he didn't ask so i'm reminding you ask for help you have this beautiful team in spirit even though you can't see them you'll start feeling him ask and you will be divinely guided and that's all i have wow that's that's beautiful oh it's still oh. it still affects oh. me okay i'm gonna clear my cards for you much Hold love on. to you um you know Y'all will be tuning into this program, and sometimes it's going to be 20 minutes, and sometimes it's mm -hmm. going to be 40 minutes. So, you know, don't set your clock by us by how long we're going to do this, because when we get in the moment, like Rainy just got in her moment, we're not going to stop it. We're going to let it happen. We're going to let it flow. That's exactly what this program is designed for. So, all right, so I'm laying out my whole deck, and John, I'm drawing your five cards, and I'm concentrating on this project and the purpose of the project and if the purpose of the project is actually designed for you which in my soul says yes and that um, it's it's as though you're going back to the original meaning of why you do what you do now it feels like you're going back to ground zero with way way more experience chills than you've had before Me too. so here's the interesting wow. thing you have a card called inner voice and it is the highest card, usually for the feminine energy, that a woman can get in a reading. But when it comes up in a man's cards, and when it comes up reverse the way you have it, and by the way, I read upright and reverse meanings because I think you get a more dimensional view of what's going on with the issue. You are right now facing the truths of the situation around you. And it's interesting because it's, it's echoing what both Chris and Rainey said, that you're getting to the most important priority of, of what, what you need to focus on. And this is you facing the truth of your environment right now. Now, facing the truth can be a double-edged sword. It can, it can be cutting through the bull crap of what you don't want to have in your life. And it can be cutting through the red tape of what you do want to have in your life. It is a dual card. Um, it, 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 and it happens all at once that, that you let go of what's not working for you and you cut through what you need to cut through. And it's, it's, it's an action-oriented vibration by the end of July. Then you have the completion card. Now, what's really interesting is um, a few shows ago, this card came up exactly in the same position. And it is the card of the final puzzle piece being placed right here in your own intuitive third eye. But it also means a task or a test that you need to go through. And that once you go through it and fully commit to it, things start to open up for you. I also want you to, to shake off the belief that you've wasted any time because you have not. Okay, your light is shining, even though sometimes you don't think it is. You just have to cut away the people that are not in the same total commitment that you are. And that's the cut through on this side. It's so funny because I keep getting this cut through on the right, cut through on the left. Now, the right side of your body is your dynamic side. The left side of your body is your receptive side. And it's the receptive side that I see you cutting through the brambles or the red tape and that it draws to you what you need. And this is big because the inner voice card and the completion card are two pretty significant major cards. The inner voice card also tells you or reminds you to relax into your feminine, receptive, magnetic, open for your blessings energy. 
And I'm telling you, the people that are not supposed to be in your life are going to reveal themselves, and the people that are supposed to be in your life are going to reveal themselves. And what it's saying is all of this big decision, all of these big things happen by the end of July. John, did you hang up? <laughs> that was a weird, like... Yeah, Okay. sorry. That's that completion. So, no. <laughs> so what's really interesting is you have a card called suppression. In traditional tarot, that's a card called the Ten of Wands. And I always am reminded of the old mythology of Sisyphus and the boulder and the, and the ditch. And Sisyphus keeps rolling the boulder almost to the brink of pushing it over the edge of the ditch. And then the boulder falls back down again. And he's compulsive to actually try and push that boulder back over the ditch again. In this deck, it's talking about you're taking on a lot of things with a lot of people and, and that your, your light still shines even though you don't think it does. And I, I'm always reminded of this statement when I see this card. There are three things you can never hide. The light of the sun, the light of the moon, and the truth. Your cards are very powerful here, John. It, and it all boils down to you making a total commitment. You know, we always regret the things we don't do, not the things we do. I'm so glad you said that. Because I have the ability, as people are passing, to know those regrets. Or even before they pass. Oh, yeah. This totality card says that if you don't take this leap of faith and follow your heart, right. you will regret it. Yes. And, and you'll review it there, before you pass. But there's no failure. The, I don't get failure at all anything that you pursue that is something that follows your heart is never failure so yeah I, I do you pick up anything else on this I, I definitely want to touch on the receptive side um, because he your uh, in astrology the moon is your is the receptive placement it is your intuition it rules your emotions but your receptive your receptivity and so it is actually on his um dc which is his seventh house beginning of his seventh house of partnerships and so it plays back into you know being um receptive to um the partnerships that serve you and the ones that may have run their course yes yes it's it's it is divine timing as far as people are concerned around you right now which is just huge and the epiphany, if you go out to that Grand Canyon and walk that walk, Heck no. will come to you like this. <laughs> yeah. You will have literally a shift, a vibrational shift. Yes, absolutely. And you're going to be like, okay, let's go. You're going to get in your jet car and just go. Jet car. <laughs> John, so tell us um, your feedback on what we've told you. I, I want to say this in the right way. <laughs> There's there no there wrong no way. way. Okay, good. Because... The three of you have told me everything that I already know. Oh, well. Well, that's what and, we do. And it was just a confirmation <laughs> of validation. every single one of you, a yes. validation. And and we'll talk after the show because I am going to blow your mind. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, well, we have our picture still on the cards. Oh, so I'm going then to, I should move that. Yeah, I'm just letting you know that, that we so, got so into what we were talking about that, that there so we go. So that gave you clarity. Yes. Then our job is done. Thank you. <laughs> That's right. It's all good. Well, And we, mine is just beginning. Oh, we love that. Oh, my gosh. So, okay. So those of you that have just tuned in, and you may be finding three for the very first time, how can you submit a question to the program? Well, I'm telling you, this is the only place on the media airwaves where three amazing women and intuitives are going to give you the answer that's going to help you have the clarity to move forward on whatever the issue is. So you go to the three dot Vegas website. It's www.three.vegas. So it's not the number because they wouldn't let me have it. Did you know I tried to get that? Hmm. Three dot Vegas. They said it was available. They wouldn't let me have it. So we got three.vegas. So we have that. So you go to the website. You can read about all of the fabulous qualifications that Chris and Rainey and I bring to the table. You could actually schedule a private session with us if you'd like. But if you'd like to be on the program and you'd like to ask your question live on the air, you go to the submit your question. You're going to put in three things, your name, your phone number, and then these three things for your chart. 
your date of birth, your place of birth, and your time of birth. Because then Chris can give you a very accurate foundation to the buildup we do with the three of us on this program. There is nothing like this out there. Oh, not nothing. even on the internet no. anywhere. So. No, it's it's an I amazing. I hope you're having amazing. a blast like we. Oh, are. we love this. <laughs> this we love our- you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Much love. Bye, Bye everyone. Love. See you next time.